On the surface, Naomi Judd seemed the picture of perfection, a glamorous beauty living her dream life as a celebrated musician touring the country with her daughter Winona. But on the inside, there was pain and the persistent haunting of a difficult past. Here's ABC's Robin Roberts. I have to say something right off the bat because I know people will realize I don't look like I usually look. My hands shake real bad. My face, uh, I feel like a balloon. My face is all swollen because of the medication that I'm on. I really haven't been eating ice cream and candy. <laughs> I really haven't. Really to the outside world, Naomi Judd should have been living the sweet life. She and daughter Winona Judd are country music royalty with Grammy winning hits like Mama He's Crazy. Mama He's Crazy. And Grandpa Tell Me About the Good Old Days. Oh, 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 Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. But out of the public eye, this force of nature and mother of two has privately battled severe treatment resistant depression and anxiety. I know this is awful, but I think about if I jumped off the bridge, I know the park ranger, George Heron, he's going to find me. It was a daily struggle the singer came alarmingly close to losing. You talk about different instances, the bridge, mm -hmm. the gun. You really were at that point. Mm -hmm. You thought that was the only answer. It's not. It's not. I'm still here, and I'm so glad I didn't. Her deep depression led to stents in psychiatric wards, that heavy regimen of medication, even electroconvulsive therapy, formerly known as electroshock. She shares the excruciating details in her new book, River of Time. Why do you share this now? I want someone to be able to see that they can survive. It's not just to help the people, the 40 million that have depression is so the people around them can understand this is a disease. What do you feel that the reaction will be from people that will say, how could this have happened to her? She's Mama Judd. She was always so happy. When people meet me, they think, because they see me in rhinestones, you know, with glitter in my hair, that really is who I am. I'm sort of a fantasy because I want to provide that for them. But then I would come home and not leave the house for three weeks and not get out of my pajamas, not practice normal hygiene. It was really bad. Naomi's internal spiral began in 2011 during the Judd's Encore Tour, documented in their reality show, The Judd's, on the Oprah Winfrey so, Network. By understanding and being able to forgive Nana or my great-grandmother or whatever. The experience elicited painful memories for Winona and Naomi. I feel so close to her now, closest I've ever felt. Who, as a teenage mom at 18, raised Winona in hand-to-mouth poverty. From the day I knew she existed, mm -hmm. it was the two of us against the world. And then through the decades, we kind of grew up together because it was really just the two of us. And I'm always telling her, if I'd known better, I would have done better. She says these newly surfaced realities of their past rocked the relationship to its core. We both walked on eggshells. Really? It was very uncomfortable. And we both were just absolutely raw. Even when we were on stage singing, we'd look in each other's eyes and be singing a Judd song. There was still that, I was afraid of her. She was afraid of me. And I, I love, love her, but there are just times we need a break from each other. Are you still on a break? Yes. We're still a little estranged from each other. And that happens with mother's daughters. Judd's depression worsened alarming her husband, Larry Strickland, and daughter, actress Ashley Judd. I wouldn't get off the couch. Larry, um, I think it was after midnight, called 911 because uh, my blood pressure was so low. He couldn't tell if I was conscious or not because I would go into such a deep sleep. And then Larry called Ashley, who lives right over this hill, and Ashley came down in her nightgown, and they took me to Vanderbilt Psych Unit. And I think that's uh, when it really hit me, I'm completely out of control. And me, yeah. having to go to a psych unit. But it brought back all these stories that we didn't know about. Dark stuff. And they said, you have got to go to therapy. You've got to go to talk therapy. 
As part of her treatment, she had to face her childhood and confront a dark family secret. Naomi says she was molested by her great uncle when she was three and a half years old. I was a cute kid. I smiled and laughed. I was very obedient. There's actually a photo in the book where typically I'm posing. I got my hand on my hip and I'm grinning for the camera. And then Grandmommy Judd made me stand next to Uncle Charlie. And my personality has completely changed. And it's interesting where I'm holding my hands, like right mm. here, and I look like I'm disgusted and terrified. When these things would happen to you and you'd go running to an adult, you were so hopeful that they would just see the fright in you and ask you, but they were not equipped. Mm -hmm. Nobody was there for me. In a way, I had to parent myself and realize that I got a raw deal. Okay, now I'm a big girl. Put on your big girl pants and deal with it. And I started in therapy. I would walk up to Ashley's house, which is a mile that way, and I would holler at her from her front step. If she was home, she'd come out and give me a hug. One of many small but meaningful steps towards Naomi's recovery. Ashley and I are so stinking much alike. I mean, we have the same mannerisms. We read a whole lot. We both love new places. And another critical part of her recovery is Naomi's husband of 27 years, Larry. What advice do you have for someone who has a loved one with depression? Get ready to to walk that path with them because they're going to need they're going to need you every minute. In sickness and in health. Yeah, exactly. And as for Winona, if she's going to watch this, what do you think she'll think? I think she'll say, "Good for you, mom, for finally being willing to talk about the bad stuff. Taking each day as it comes, Naomi is seeing the brighter side of life again. My everyday life is not only manageable, it's even enjoyable once more. I laugh a lot. I've told my story, and you can tell yours. You're not alone. I'm still here. For Nightline, I'm Robin Roberts in Leapers Fork, Tennessee.